What's going on guys? Um, what we're doing right here, I'm pretty much going to go through what do we do before a tournament. How do we clean up the boat or after a tournament? Um, we didn't get to clean the boat the day after the tournament, so we're kind of a little late on that. Um, I have a tournament this weekend, so we're pretty much putting the baits in the boat that we're going to use um, for this weekend. So what do we do? What we do is we sit here, we open the rod lockers, and we look in here, and we're like, all right, do we need these top water baits? Do we need these spooks? No. We'll take them out. Um, we'll pull out all of our crankbait boxes. Got some right here. Um, do we need these rattle traps? Yeah, we need these. Do we need these deep divers? Uh, maybe. Uh, we're fishing a little shallow. shallow no. So we'll throw them out. Um, we'll take them out of the boat. We're just kind of um, taking stuff out of the boat so you're not carrying all that extra weight and everything you really don't need. Um, so I'll get back to you with all the baits that we're um, organizing and how we put them in the boxes. All right guys, so for an example of what we're doing, in this box right here, we got some terminal tackle. Um, we're always, we always keep the terminal tackle in the boat. Um, we got the hooks right here. We have spinner baits. Always keep the spinner baits in the boat. Um, at all times, just a little box, really convenient. Right here, Alabama rigs. We might not need them. If we need them, or if we don't know, we'll probably just take one or two Throw them in the bottom there. We also have some extra line, um, some Berkeley trialing right here. Um, just keep it in, in the boat. Um, always be prepared, guys. So that's what we have in this one. This back right box, um, we try to keep it pretty simple. Um, pretty much there's not too much stuff in here. We got a little bit of swim baits, swim bait heads, um, a little bit of top water baits in here. But we try to keep it pretty much empty for the most part for my co-angler or my partner so he can put his bag, his snacks, everything he needs. So we pretty much keep this back compartment pretty empty, empty for the most part. Alright guys, everything that I got going on right here in this concoction, I got some baits thrown in the corner um, from our last West Point Lake tournament. We have some soft plastic baits. We have like the plastics right here. We don't throw these back in the water. We try to keep the lakes fisheries clean um, you don't want to pollute the lakes and everything you want to keep them clean so what we do is we kind of just throw them in the corner of the boat and once we get back to the shop we'll just throw them in the box and recycle them later on and so what we'll do with all those baits is we'll put them away put them in the boxes that they need to be put in and um, organize and what we have going on right here with all the boxes um, the stuff right here the square reels the hooks, crankbaits shallow diving stuff that's what we need right now um, the spooks we may need them, we may take a couple. Um, deep diving crankbaits, fishing shallow, we don't need them. Took those out of the boat. Um, just less weight on the boat, the faster the boat goes. Um, right here, what we did is we pulled some other hard baits out, some rattle traps, some square bills, um, medium divers. And that's pretty much, we'll, what, what we'll do is we'll pull out a couple of each and we'll sit here and we'll look at them and we'll go, um, we're practicing Friday so We'll go, I want to try this in practice. Maybe my dad would tie this one on. Um, see what they're biting. Once we figure out what they're biting, we'll go from there. Um, we'll pick the one that was most productive, and that's where we're going to fish the tournament day. Simple as that. So um, right here, we just got a variety. Now I'm going to pick one bait to fish um, pre-fishing day, and then we'll figure out what I want to fish for tournament day from there. All right, guys, what we got going on here, um, we have all our hard baits that we don't have in the boat. Right here, I need crankbaits. So we've got the crankbait box. See, there's some crankbaits. Um, there's a crankbaits we don't need. So let's load these up. There you go. Back on the shelf. Keeping everything organized. Alright guys, what I got going on right here, um, looking through the maps, we're going to Lake Gunnersville, so that's the map that I'm looking for. Um, got plenty of maps in here. Almost there. And it has to be the last one on the bottom. But Alright guys, right there, Lake Gunnersville. Um, and keep your maps organized, guys. We have them in a waterproof case, um, so it's always convenient. And um, have them all handy. Alright guys, what we got going on now, opening up the rod locker, uh, rods, and 
tournament. Um, just gonna pull them all out. Just got all my baits tied on. Um, tying on a couple more. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna throw the rods in the rod locker and the boat should be all set. Got my suit right there. Um, it's gonna be put in there just in case you never know if it's gonna rain. I know it's summertime and it's warming up and everything. So, um, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, as you can see, got all the rods in the boat. Now we're going to load up all the baits, um, get a couple of this plastics that we don't need in the boat out. Finishing putting everything in the boat, put all the baits away that we had in the cup holders um, from last tournament. We got everything in the boat. So pretty much packed up. Um, ready to hit Gunnersville. So we got the rods in, we got all the baits we need, got all the hard baits, got all the square bills, um, rattle traps, everything we need in the boat, all prepared, we got the mat, um, got gas in the boat, we got the waters, we're heading out tomorrow morning. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick episode, I just wanted to show you guys what I do before a tournament, how we clean the boat, um, and how we make the boat lighter and not have as much tackle in it and um, put stuff in storage. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like if you liked it, and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks guys.